thank you SCB Medical College and Hospital. It's a privilege to be part of this prestigious event, especially at the time when I've committed my professional life to health tech. Being present in front of so many healthcare professionals and problem solvers is making me nervous as I'm nowhere close to the capabilities that you all possess to change life. I'm a developer and often we build tools that changes life, but the reality is a real life changes through the hands of healthcare professionals such as you. My journey with health tech started serendipitously post building a successful travel startup, GoIBibo. I started researching on my next venture from say September 2019. And the ideas that I was dabbling around was on corporate travel, on blockchain technologies, how we can mix and match this to bring up better travel products. But then who knew we would hit with this massive pandemic and it'll start coming into our country from March 2020. In March 2020, we came across a real hard way of contact tracing. And we got to know about it through a newspaper article and an advertisement that Kerala government has posted. That was about tracing a contact by figuring out where a COVID-19 individual has gone through during his asymptomatic time and then publishing that in newspapers and calling out people to come forward and talk to the authorities about their whereabouts during that time. Now, this is a hard problem and this is not scalable. During that time within this uh, tech community of ours, we figured out what is it that we can do. So a noble thought of building a contact tracing, leveraging Bluetooth and GPS came in uh, within these discussions and we started building a prototype and eventually shared that with Niti Aayog and Government of India. Fortunately, Government of India was also trying to build something similar at that time. And we've got an opportunity to work with uh, government to create uh, this amazing utility to trace contacts that they eventually named as Arogya Setu. And this Arogya Setu in making actually transitioned me and many of us towards health tech. Those three, four months of actively developing this app with government made us realize how profound an impact technology can create for better health outcomes. We realized that right information from a right healthcare provider at right time, at a critical time, can not only be a lifesaver, but can change lives of individuals and their loved ones forever. During this period, when I was, when we were building this app and post that as well, a personal event also happened. My sister got pregnant. We were all happy. After a few months, there was a test that has happened. And we figured out that my sister is thalassemia minor. She was 30 year old and we never knew this. She was always being with us, uh, but we've never realized that she is a thal minor. And the doctor actually told us to get my brother-in-law also tested. And when she mentioned that if the brother-in-law also is thal minor, there can be complications and the child can have preconditions. It was an utter chaos in the family. Luckily, it was not the case and the baby is born healthy and everyone is happy. But a lot of things unfolded with that. We started going through the entire journey of my sister's life. Things started getting unfolded. We figured that she used to be fatigued a lot of times during childhood. When we used to get herself tested, she used to get low hemoglobin but it was 
all very, very transactional. These records, these consultations that we would do at that point in time have not been kept together. Also, there was a unique uh, sort of situation in our family. My father is a banker and he used to get transferred from one city to the other every two years to three years. Hence, our physicians also changed every now and then. What happened during all of these clinical journeys of her? She would go to a doctor, she would get herself uh, tested, uh, tell symptoms such as fatigue, get the reports which is low hemoglobin and the diagnosis at the end would have always been iron deficiency which means that you need to pop in some iron tablets. But now we realize that all those iron tablets that have been taken at that point in time could have been far more dangerous because she is a thalminer and excessive iron is a problem for thalminers. Now that again struck that chord that how important it is to look at an individual from a healthcare perspective at the end across the longitudinal journey. All of this in many stories during the COVID menace, people have started keeping track of their vitals such as SpO2, vitals such as uh, temperature in a diary. And it's so hard for a physician to go through that diary. We figured that this is a problem to be solved. Fortunate, fortunately, at that point in time, government of India also came up with this noble mission to solve for such a large scale problems by putting in a team together, calling it uh, NDHM, which is National Digital Health Mission. We thought it's a great idea. And all of these efforts would need innovations uh, from private players, from government bodies to build something for the better health outcome, to build something so that the structured record can be kept, to build solutions that can engage healthcare providers and care seekers. That's when we started building products. When we started building these products, our respect for doctors went up multifolds. We never realized that building a medically aware tech tool is so, so hard. The knowledge that all of you, the medical professional possess is just flabbergasting. Building products to aid a highly skilled professional is really, really hard. Medical records and vitals are complex and they are interrelated. When we went deeper into the medical knowledge, medical graph, we realized that the best shot that we have is to build an engagement tool between doctor and patient and an assistant to a doctor, which is truly medically aware, like a calculator. Look at a calculator, what an engineer would do. An engineer would leverage many of these programs, but put in his creative energies in solving a complex problem. So we thought that why can't we build a tool that practically is a calculator or an assistant uh, for our doctors, which can solve deterministic tasks fast and can help in optimizing time so that a doctor can spend more time diagnosis and less time collecting information, less time inferring information from that collected data. If a tool can solve that for a doctor, we found that that can help in aiding this mission of better health outcomes. To our savior, we actually searched and found a few solutions, uh, globally renowned, taken up by many other countries where there's a far more penetration of health record systems and so and so forth, such as FHIR, amazing standard to keep these uh, medical records in the right kind of a schema that can have a schematic representation of these longitudinal data. We looked at SNOMED CT, a very well done, uh, graphical ontology of medical terms. ICD-10 leveraged a lot by insurance companies and many more. These data sources 
actually became the fundamental stack of what we are trying to build as a tool to assist uh, practitioners and physicians and care seekers. We've started building smart assistant for the doctors that allows a significantly enriching medical engagement with care seekers. For care seekers, we started building a platform that provide and keep the right set of information such as medical records, such as files, such as images, if there are any that we, they want to keep it and they would be able to share that with doctors for posterity. We still are scratching surface. Medical science is deep and the products that we have built till now are in beta. But the impact we saw so far with whatever we've built is so heartwarming. We did a very simple social campaign during COVID to facilitate teleconsultations. And we partnered uh, with an NGO, Sphere India. Sphere India took this whole initiative of taking teleconsultations or doctor consultations to villages seriously and innovatively by using our app to actually taking it to the villages such as Madhepura in Bihar or Golpara in Assam. And we have connected them through this medically aware tool over teleconsultation medium to the doctors available in metros such as Bangalore and Gurgaon. Doctors connected to these care seekers thousands of miles away using a simple mobile tech that not only enables a video consultation, but a far enriching diagnosis capabilities by leveraging this calculator or this assistive tool that we've built that is medically aware. That gave us a profound thought that how big this can be and how massively impactful this can be. Look at uh, today, an average person in rural India has an easy access to mobile phone, to data, which means he can leverage YouTube for entertainment. But can he have a doctor at the tap of a button as he has a YouTube video uh, at the tap of a button? Today with mobile and data ubiquitous, we can actually change this entire dynamics of bringing primary care to these uh, rural places, be it for a primary care or be it an emergency at actually the tap of a button. And it, it warmed our heart and we started solving for that. While we see all of this uh, coming together, be it record keeping, be it connecting to doctor, it's nothing but a fabric, a thread of technology being leveraged as a tool to facilitate these interaction, as a tool to facilitate these behaviors that can impact a larger audience. There's just a start of few key ideas coming to life. Digitization has a power to scale. Internet, I think, is the most powerful platform ever built for distribution. And mobile has made delivery of services seamless and ubiquitous. These powerful weapons that we have today, these powerful technologies that are prevalent today can actually transform how healthcare is delivered. Let's imagine few use cases here that we deeply care for. Our, doc our country has a doctor-patient ratio of 1 is to, say, 1,400. And a large number of doctors today are in metros. I mean, most of the professionals are in metros, so are the doctors as well. Lots of people travel from far rural areas uh, to Bangalore, to Chennai, to Delhi to get health care. Technology, a right kind of assistive medical technology for doctors can help bridge this gap by improving this ratio. And again, I'm not saying that we will produce more doctors, but this ratio would remain the same, 
but the healthcare can be provided to a larger audience by actually saving the time of those doctors providing these by providing these assistive technologies making doctors more efficient using these digital tools can actually provide a healthcare for a large number of people let's look at another example and i shared about this if we have a technology that can solve for these longitudinal health record a diagnosis would be complete and would be with a higher accuracy with this whole historical data to aid again bringing better health outcomes patient would be aware and are in control of their health by actually providing them right kind of a digital tool so that they don't keep those stack of files that are offline in nature and has a tendency to get lost or has a tendency to practically get torn a digital data that can have multiple copies and that can be easily transported transferred and can be inferred very well will actually provide patients with control of their health data again making them connect far easily and more frequently with doctors would add to this whole experience that a patient will go through when he needs a care we fundamentally believe that these changes are bound to happen and these changes are here to happen i urge that let's embrace this change i urge that let's challenge the status quo and let's work towards better health outcomes jai hind